Hello students, in today's session we are going to study about the instrumentation and the application of flame photometry. This is the part one of it and you can see over here we already have a flame photometer at the side. This particular device is known as a flame photometer. Flame photometer over here the model name is FP8800 for simultaneous determination of up to 4 alkali and alkaline earth element concentrations in aqueous samples. Now when I talk about alkali samples, the alkali samples will be alkali metals that is group 1 elements, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and francium. When I talk about alkaline earth elements, I am talking about group 2 elements and that is beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium and radium. For the determination of these particular elements, we use this flame photometer. Photoelectric flame photometer is a device used in inorganic chemical analysis to determine the concentration of certain metal ions. And let us see what the metal ions are, sodium, potassium, lithium and calcium. Now in general all the metal ions are going to be positive in nature, they will have a plus charge. So it will be Na+, plus, K+, plus, Li2+, plus, Ca2+, plus, and so on. Group 1 and group 2 metals are quite sensitive to flame photometry due to their low excitation energies and we make use of that we take advantage of their low excitation energies and we try to determine them. Let us see an analysis sample by flame photometer. In principle it is a controlled flame test with the intensity of the flame color quantified by the photoelectric circuitry. The intensity of the color will depend on the energy that had been observed by the atoms that was sufficient to vaporize them. Over here there is an image of a person doing the flame photometry with the help of a flame photometer. This is exactly how the flame photometry is being done. The sample is introduced to the flame at a constant rate. Filters select which colors the photometer detects and exclude the influence of other ions. So they will first see which colors are being detected and all others will be excluded. Before use the device requires calibration with a series of standard solutions of ions to be tested. So first thing we need is calibration. Flame photometry is crude but cheap compared to flame emission spectroscopy or ICP AES where the emitted light is analyzed with a monochromator. Its status is similar to that of a calorimeter which of course uses filters compared to the spectrophotometer which uses a monochromator. It also has a range of metals that could be analyzed and the limit of detections are also considered. So with this we study the instrumentation and application of flame photometry with the help of a flame photometer. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned. Thank you.